All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Mars Rainey's Black Bottom. All right, before I get into that, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up. If you don't like the content, hit the thumbs down. And I will just put this out there. I'm not going to be doing too many more political reviews or political videos because YouTube has decided if you don't go along with what they're saying, they're going to delete your channel. So I don't have time for that. So I'm moving on. All right. Uh, maybe do one or two here and there. But as of now, I'm going to be reviewing these. All right. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Starring Viola Davis, Chadwick Boltman. All right. So this movie takes place, I think, in the 20s or the 30s. Somewhere around there. And basically, it's about a woman from Georgia, called Ma Rainey, who has a certain sound, certain voice, a certain attitude. And she is one of those artists who basically, from the movie, I should say, set in her ways. And she's not going to budge on anything she's just gonna do what she wants to do and that's what it's gonna be you know and basically the whole movie takes place in a recording studio and they're trying to get this song done a couple of songs done Chadwick Bowman he is one of the actors in the movie and he plays a part where he is I think that's a saxophone. No, a trumpet. It's a, he's the trumpet player. That's what that is. Saxophone is a different instrument. He's a trumpet player. And I'm going to put this out there. This is an excellent movie, man. I'm going to put it to you like this. This movie is not really about Ma Rainey. And it's not about uh, Chadwick Bowman's character. And it's not about the band. This movie is a lesson like this movie is one of those movies that it appears to be about something and it's totally not about that. And I'm not going to get into what it's about. I want you to go watch it. I'm not going to spoil it, but I'm going to say the actors in this movie were top notch. When I tell you. One of the guys, I I didn't recognize him at first, and I don't know his name. I'm sorry if I don't know his name. I'll get better as I go along with, with these uh, reviews and these names. But I do know that he is a character from uh, Euphoria. He is the character from Euphoria who, who is Rue's mentor. Excellent actor, man. That guy is phenomenal. And he was phenomenal in Euphoria. So I know that uh, he was, he's, he, he was going to be phenomenal. But I didn't recognize him at first until I heard his voice. And I said, okay, yeah, I know that guy. That's, oh, that's him. Yeah, he looks different. So overall, this movie was a good, it was a good um, take on life and how they, you know, use the movie to reel you in. The, 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 you know, aesthetics of the movie and making you believe that it was about one thing. But when you watch it, you're like, oh, wow, it's eye opening. And there's a lot of different, so many quotables in this movie. So many things that they said that was really, it really hit home. And the acting was great. So given a take, you know, given, given the, uh, uh, the two, main characters in this movie they both were from different backgrounds and one was i would say hot-headed they both were hot-headed but one knew the were knew the ropes and the other one didn't and there's something there's one in it one there's one part in this movie that i didn't understand until I sat down and I thought about it. And it was, it's with Chad Bowman, and I'm not going to spoil it, but he kept trying to do something in the movie. And over and over again, he kept trying to do it. And 
when he got got what he wanted, it didn't work out for him. And I thought about that and it came back and I said to myself, I see exactly why they did that. And now was that's what made this movie to me five stars. That one part. I have to get this movie five stars because everything about this movie worked. Everything from the writing down to the acting. It was set in the thirties or the, or the twenties or the thirties or whatever it was set. And you can tell by how they were acting that they were taught or told you have to act like this because if you watch any of the movies back in the day, they talked really fast. They didn't get a chance to get, get a word in. They talked really fast. Any of those old movies, you know what I'm saying? Da -da 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 -da, you see, da -da 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 that's how they talk. Like, you know, and I really thought that that played a major part in this movie and it just felt good. This movie felt good. It was a good feeling movie, you know? So I gave this movie five stars out of five because I think that anyone sees this movie is going to appreciate this movie. And Viola Davis, as always, is phenomenal. But I'm going to go with Chadwick Bowman in this movie because that guy, rest in peace to that guy, if he would have stayed alive, he would have been one of the top actors of all time because that dude... Went from, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I never really been a fan of his. And I didn't think that he was that good in Black Panther. I thought that he was okay. You know, the Black Panther movie, I thought his acting was okay. And then I seen him in another movie. And I said, wait a minute. This dude can really act. You know, I seen him in another movie. I actually seen him in two other movies. I seen him in a movie where he played a baseball player. And he was good in that. And I seen another movie called Five Bloods. And he was good in that. So this movie here, he stole the show. Don't get me wrong. Viola Davis is the GOAT. But he stole the show. He put on a performance. And basically, to be honest with y'all, the movie was really centered around him, not more of her. It was centered around her, but it was really more about him. So if you break down all the lessons in the movie, it was more about him than her. So I gave this movie five stars out of five. Recommend it. Go watch this with your wife and your husband. You know, it's one of those movies that I'm glad that this is a part of black cinema. And also, too, I want to say this. I'm so happy that black people are starting to take, well, black actors, directors, and writers are starting to take different directions with our movies instead of it being just hood movies or, or listening movies. I'm so happy that we're taking different directions. And I'm happy for this movie. And this movie is going to be another movie that I'm probably going to watch over and over again. All right, man. Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is.